love the character development between me on a Saturday night out and me on a Sunday morning. My Saturday nights kind of look different all the time too. I just love being home. It has to be like really calling my name if I wanna go out. But when I do, I love to go out with friends. I think the getting ready aspect of a Saturday night is my favorite part, especially when I have friends over. And then we'll go out for drinks, we'll get dinner. I'll have a night out with my boyfriend. Sometimes I just have friends over at my apartment or we pregame at my apartment. So I'm gonna be filming tonight and then continuing tomorrow morning. As I said, I honestly don't go out very often and that's because I just love being at home. I love ordering food right to my apartment. I love staying in my sweatpants all night. Like, those are my ideal Saturday nights. I feel like also the less I go out, the more I appreciate my nights out because I'm like, oh yeah, like let's get out of my comfort zone and let's do it. And it ends up being way more memorable. And my mom makes fun of me all the time because she's like, what are you doing on like a Friday night, Saturday night and you're sitting at home? Like you need to go out and have a good time. I'm like, I don't know, I just love being home. But I think especially at this age, it's important to go out and get out of your comfort zone just for the experience, you know? Cause we're only this age once. So tonight I'm going out. My boyfriend and I are going to dinner. We're gonna have sushi. I love getting sushi so much. That's what I absolutely love about living at the beach in California. We have a lot of sushi options. We'll probably get a couple drinks, meet up with friends. We honestly just kind of see where the night takes us. outfit always takes me the longest to put together so while I'm getting ready I try to visualize what I want to wear usually it doesn't work out because the outfit in my mind is way cuter than it actually looks on I am wearing this top and then it's really cute in the back and then I'm wearing jeans they're high-rise which I don't love but they fit really good and my butt looks amazing so you know the important stuff, we're checking it off the list. They're flared at the bottom. I gotta change my fuzzy socks, unfortunately. Here, now you can see the full outfit. I'm gonna put on my everyday jewelry. I literally just never take these earrings out. I love them. And then I have these necklaces, which I never take off. Right now, I'm gonna add this Vivian Westwood necklace. I'm so in love with it. It's gold, so pretty and simple. It has this orb. I just think it's so perfect with these two. These are the rings I wear every day. I have my gold hand and I have my silver hand. Totally different vibes on each hand. I also am gonna wear this bracelet, but I cannot put it on myself. So my boyfriend is gonna have to put it on me. I'm gonna add in a little bit of hair oil and hair perfume. These are from Gizu and these have been my obsession lately, especially the hair perfume. It smells so good. This is their honey infused, like the original scent. I don't know if that even got in my hair. Here's my new purse. It's like this maroon color, it's super cute, so I'm gonna show you what I keep in it. I usually take my black coach one, my little shoulder bag, but this one has been really cute because it's in this fun color. But it's honestly so similar to my other one. The essentials, five different lip choices. This is actually crazy, I didn't realize I had this many. So I have this one, Glossier, this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I have two Summer Fridays lip balms. This is my new one in Cherry, and then this is the one I typically use every day. And then this Gizu lip gloss, that I just bought. It's like the cutest pink shimmer, except it smells like watermelon and I hate watermelon scent. Clearly I have options here. These, these are the essentials. Next I have mascara. Usually I keep a powder in here also, so I'll add that. I have my wallet. And then I have this pack of gum and that's what's in my purse. It's a very messy room, but I'm ready.
sprint through the drive and see what's going on. This is the worst part about going out when you come home and your room is a disaster because you couldn't pick an outfit before going out. Good morning, everyone. I, oh my God. I actually woke up at eight o'clock this morning, but then I stayed in bed for an hour on my phone, so now it's nine. But I'm awake and it's time to get this morning started. Last night was so fun, but I spent so much money. It's crazy because it's so expensive to go out for one night. It's like I woke up and I was like, oh God, that was a lot of money. I am gonna get ready and go to the gym. This is honestly my favorite way I've been starting my mornings lately. Mm. Which color should I wear today? I just get on my workout clothes, I walk over to the gym that's at my apartment, and start my day off with a really good workout. I am pretty tired today, but we're gonna work out tired. Now that I'm back from the gym, I'm gonna set up the most aesthetic and relaxing bath. I usually do this at night to unwind after my day, but I kind of love the morning baths. It feels so good. So I put out all my favorite products and new scents. I lit my candle. <laughs> Honestly, the best part of last night was waking up not hungover. straightening and blow drying my hair. I'm gonna add some product to it and then I'm also gonna do my makeup. But first, I put on these cucumber under eye masks. My dark circles and the bags under my eyes have been so bad lately. Honestly, my skin all around has been going through a rough patch recently, but that usually happens this time of year, so I'm not super surprised. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. If I'm being honest, I really slacked off on journaling this year. I don't think I really journaled at all in months. Let's see my last. Holy shit. The last date I journaled was January 14th of this year. And now it is October. October is crazy. But anyway, so I'm gonna journal. I feel like it's gonna be so good to do some self-reflection. I also just love to journal and just write about what I do during the day because I've talked about this before, but when I look back on those days, I remember them so well. And it's kind of just an interesting way of like time travel. I reread a page and I'm like back to that day. <laughs> I am gonna make a quick cup of matcha. This is how I make my favorite iced vanilla matcha at home. These packets are the best matcha at home packets ever. I don't know what it is, but these are so yum. I just went upstairs and made some iced matcha. I love this one for at home. It tastes so good because I add a little bit of vanilla. I am gonna start doing my makeup for the day. I honestly just have a very simple routine that only takes me like 15 minutes every day. And then like as I did last night's makeup, I added a little bit more to my routine, but it's always like the same kind of base. And I feel like I found so many products this year that I really like and that really work for my skin type. If you guys were wondering, I still have the pink sheets on. Um, if you guys didn't watch my room transformation, I finally put on my dream bedding. 
My boyfriend, however, is not the biggest fan of it. And one of the best parts to come out of that video is you guys asking me for an update all the time on if I still have the pink sheets on my bed. I think he came around a little bit. And also, they're way too cute to get rid of. Like, they had to stay. I'm getting so hungry, so I'm gonna go upstairs and make something. I'm really in the baking mood, so I'm gonna see what I have in my pantry to bake. Probably just something really simple and yum for breakfast. some hair oil and some product to finish off my hair it's actually looking really good and I think it's growing really well finally I'm so happy knock on wood that it keeps growing my plan for today is honestly just to work on a video I need to upload one tomorrow morning so I need to finalize everything I have a couple emails to send and things to approve for brands so I'll probably just be at home all day guys so much for watching and staying until the end i love you guys so much i am so grateful for these opportunities you guys give me i'm so grateful for my routine and to have the lifestyle that i do honestly none of it would be possible without you pretty much say it in every single video but i'm so grateful for you all and i don't know what i would do without you i love you guys so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day have a great weekend have a great week whatever day you're watching this and i will see you guys soon bye Mwah.